A member of President Trump's cabinet took a tour of small businesses in Dallas today as a way to showcase the improving economy. Tonight, investigative reporter Brian New takes a look at how new changes to the government's small business loan program could be the lifeline still struggling businesses need to survive. These days, behind every slice of pizza are extra safety requirements, from masks on employees to social distancing customers. However, the owner of Eno Pizza's Tavern says the key ingredient that's kept his business afloat has been the PPP loan he's received from the federal government. So we're just trying to outlast the pain and hurt that everybody is feeling right now and end up on the other side. And that's what the PPP will offer us right now, a lifeline. Oh, it's a real pleasure to be here. Thank you for Friday, the head of the Federal Small Business Administration stopped in Dallas's Business Arts District to highlight success stories. The Trump administration says PPP loans have saved millions of businesses and jobs. I'd also like to emphasize that because of this president who put small business front and center, that no small business would be left behind. But some Texas businesses say they have been left behind, unable to secure a loan or reluctant to even apply, worried that they may not meet the rules to have the loans forgiven. Last week, Congress loosened those rules, giving businesses more flexibility on how they can spend the money and thus a greater chance at having the loan forgiven. Changes the administration says it hopes for some is the missing ingredient. But there's not much time left. Businesses have until June 30th to be approved for these loans, which basically means they have a week or so to start the application process. There is still $130 billion available in this program. In Dallas, Brian New. CBS 11 News.